Hi, and welcome to the Creative Tree House. My name is Robin Broom, and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Thanks for joining me in the Tree House today. Today we have a card, and it is kind of, it's, I don't know, it's a sophisticated looking card, very delicate, and we are gonna recreate it, but this time I'm gonna change it up. Instead of the fresh freesia, we're gonna work with some blues and see how that turns out. So that is the card and these are vellum flowers and let's just walk through I'll tell you all the dimensions and we'll put one together and you can find all the measurements and things on my blog it will be posted within a day and there should also be um, all the measurements will be there and uh, I'll put that in the description of the video and I think that's it. We'll get started. What you'll need first is a card base. And the card base is your eight and a half by five and a half and scored at four and a quarter. Now I chose boho blue and um, this is the inside of my card. And let's see, or is it? No, actually this one. Let me, this one is the outside that gets embossed, and it is uh, five and three eighths by four and one eighth. And I embossed it with this, which is a softly sophisticated 3D embossing folder. And it's one of the products that you can get in during celebration right now for the next, um, basically next whatever, six weeks maybe through the end of February. If your order is $100, you can choose this and there's a, a uh, stamp set that matches. So it's a, the embossing folder and a stamp set. I didn't bring the stamp set in here right now. But one uh, thing I wanted to mention is most of the folders have this dark line. And if you've ever wondered why it was there, it's so that you can line up your paper and it won't be crooked. So it gives you a, a way to line that up when you run it through the stamp cut and emboss machine. And then that way you know it's um, even and not crooked. So, and that's more um, important for certain folders. So this one, it could be, it could be important. All right, and so the next thing we need to know is there is a piece, well, I already embossed that one, that same side. So it's just, it's very stunning. It's very soft and subtle but definitely is definitely raised. I enjoy the, the 3D embossing folders. So that's what it looks like embossed. And then we need a piece of basic white that is cut at um, five by three and a quarter. And we're gonna use one of the country in corner dies and cut that out. So if, as long as your paper is approximately five by three and a quarter, that will be enough for that. Then you will need a strip of vellum, and we're gonna color that with blends. And approximately um, eight and a half by say three and a half or something would be enough for that. And then on the inside piece, it measures uh, five by three and three fourths. And what I did on this one was I used um, the translucent florals, the stamp, and I used this one, and let me show you what what I did. First I stamped it full strength with the boho blue ink and I just thought it was too strong for this very soft card so I redid it. Isn't that fun that you can just turn these over and re-stamp it? So no no real mistakes and then I just stamped off. So I stamped it here full strength and then I thought it was too dark so I stamped it again here. So that will be my inside and again five by three and three quarters. I think that's all of our pieces. So I will tell you that the bundle, the translucent floral bundle, it is all of these and um, stamps and um, these are some of the dies right here and we're gonna be using almost all of these little pieces here. Um, and that's, it's a great set. It, I believe it's a carryover set that's still available and it, the, the bundle in the United States is $54. And right now, if you got the bundle, that 54 uh, would qualify you for something free in the celebration catalog. So, cause you just have to get to the $50 mark. So I, um, 
yeah, and you could do this and you could do other things and get the embossing folder and stamp. Oh, there's just so many good choices. So I will, if you don't already have a demonstrator on my blog, you'll be able to find all the products and you'll be able to click on them and order things. Um, let's see, I think we'll go ahead and we're going to use our blends and we're going to color. And I'll just show you, I've already done it, but I'm gonna just show you how it's done. I chose um, Boho Blue, and I'm gonna use a dark and a light. This is the dark Boho Blue. Let me see if I can find the light. There's the light Boho Blue. All right, and all I did was I just took the blend, I took the, the brush tip end, and then I just, I just colored it, made it completely straight. Just, and it blends really nicely. It does not work to go back over it. It just doesn't, it doesn't work. So not on the vellum. It does on a regular cardstock. So you don't wanna go over it. Just make a nice smooth transition there. And then I used a dark and a light. So, and I, again, you're just doing like so. And give it a, a, a few minutes to dry. And then you will also need, of course, if you, copied my colors. I used a uh, light blueberry bushel. These colors turn out differently, I feel like, on vellum as they do cardstock, so just play around with it and see what works. So, and then this one is for the centers of the flowers. I wanted it to be a little bit darker, and I chose, I think this is the light, yep, it's the light blueberry bushel. And then you'll need some leaves, and I went with granny apple green, which normally I would think would be a little bit strong, but it works just fine on the on the vellum. So, and then there's a couple of, of leaves. So that's just a sample. You would make, you would need to make it larger than that. And you'll take your dies. Let me open these up and I'll show you. We'll, so for example, we will set, this may still be, still be wet, but we'll take our, our leaves like so and our, our flowers, there are two big flowers and two smaller flowers, and they're, they're different and they go together. So you're gonna layer them. So, and you can make one be light and one be the darker color. So, and as you can see, and then, but anyway, so you'll have a lot more colors on there, but that's what you do and you run it through. And there are two little uh, of the centers. One's a little bit bigger than the other one. And so I would cut two of these because we're gonna make two little flowers and just one of those. All right, so let me move those out of the way and I'll show you what they look like already done. And let's see about, ooh, lots, lots of little light pieces. So that, and I have, I did probably too many leaves and things, but that's okay. Get them all over here and show you. All right, and you can see now that even though it looked kind of kind of dark, that this is a, a great color for the inside. So we're gonna start putting this together. All right, so we're just gonna adhere it all to this piece. And I'm gonna start with my larger flower and see, I've got several, and these are exactly the same. So I need one that's different. This is the uh, the different one, and we just all we have to do is you're just gonna layer them, and you're just gonna put a little tiny glue dot. I think I might do it this way because this one's yeah I'll do it this way. This one's a little bit larger, so it'll be easier to get a glue dot. I'm just gonna use, or you could use an actual glue dot. I'm gonna use a dot of the Tombow liquid glue. Hopefully not too much, and layer that on top. Okay. Yeah, it was still, it was actually quite a bit. All right, that's the larger one. So this is the larger center piece and I'm gonna stick, there's probably enough leftover glue right there for the center piece to go on top. Okay, I'll put that down. Let me slide that, see if I can slide that out of the way. Ah, it's jumping. Press it down. All right, so we've got that. While that's drying for a minute, let's get some of our smaller ones and see I've got I think those look like they're identical here's the other one so I made these dark and this light I don't know if you can tell the tell the difference there so uh we will put that there and let's find another light one like 
like that. Okay, so now we've got those. We'll try, see if we can get a smaller dot. I need my uh, little tiny applicator. Oh, that was much better, okay. You can put your Tombow Liquid Glue in a small applicator that makes it a whole lot easier to apply just a small dot of glue. All right, we were much more successful that time. All right, let's do some for the center. This is just such a fun, fun set. And you can do so many different things with it. We did a, I did my Facebook Live the other day with it. And let's see. And I showed the another card that was not the vellum that was just stamped. It gives you a completely different look. The vellum is just really cool, a nice, soft, delicate look. All right, and I think we're good. We're gonna, let me bring my leaves a little bit closer. We're gonna go ahead and start to adhere everything. Let's see if that one's dry enough to move it. All right, I'm just gonna kind of dry fit everything. And you've got room to be able to go over or whatever. Now, on my other one, I did not leave a spot for a sentiment. I tried and tried to put one in there and it just didn't look right. But, and I may do the same thing. Or if you move your flowers around, I think you would have enough room for a sentiment here. So, but I didn't plan for a sentiment, so I'm gonna move it pretty much the way I had it before. All right, I'm gonna lift this guy up, put some in the center here, and adhere him down. And then he'll need some leaves. And I'm gonna give him, I think I'll give him a, one big and one little leaf. I'm gonna trade, there we go. And I'm just gonna put just a little bit of glue on the part that's going up under the petals. Okay. So I love, this is just really cool. I just, I love the look. It's fun to be able to play with a vellum. All right. Very sophisticated looking, okay. Again, I'm only putting glue on the, um, the underside there, just on the center. And I think I'll just go with little, little leaves now. I'm just putting a little tiny bit of glue there. And give them a pair of leaves. And then let's see where we would like another leaf. Should we do one here or so many choices of what would look good. I think I'll go with that way. It's, I have, I so enjoy creating, I hope you do too. And I hope this is, gives you a little bit of inspiration. This is a card that um, I just recently designed and we, we will be making that in a class this coming, this coming weekend. All right, I think that's good. I like it that you've got odd numbers going, three flowers and five of the leaves. Odds are somehow it's just more pleasant to your eyes, I think. All right, I'm gonna flip it over carefully and I'm gonna put dimensionals on the back. I'll use the, the full size dimensionals once I locate where I hid them. <laughs> there are some, all right. So I will just put some around. And let's see, I'll just do, I think I'll just, I'll keep, you can never have too many dimensionals, right? All right, I'll pull, pull off the backings. Let's see if, I, if I'm able to do it this way. I have never, oh, look at that. I think there's an art to being able to use the pick the two, pick your, Take your pick tool <laughs> and pulling these off. Yeah, there's definitely an art to it. I think some people are great at it. I usually just use my fingernails. All right, we get them all off. And we'll add that to our, did I get that one? Yes, yes, I did. Okay, and now we're gonna add it to our embossed piece. I'll just lay it, see if I can get it relatively centered. Okay, and then that will go on to our card base. 
and this will just be glue with the liquid glue. Now, if you have embossing folders that have a lot of little divots and things like that, it's usually a good idea to add just a little bit of extra glue, but typically you don't need a lot of glue. Now, this has just that really thin, thin border, like a 1 16th all the way around, which just helps be soft and gives your brings your eyes into the center. All right, this time, I think I'm going to try the pearls. I can't remember whether the pearls have been discontinued or not. They may have changed or something. All right, let's see. We will use, I'll use a big pearl. And let's see, where should I put them? I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna put one big one here. Then I'll go with a little one. And again, I'm gonna try um, the odd numbers. I'm gonna go with three. I'll put one there and I'll put one up at the top. All right, and so there is that, and we need there, our center, and again, I'm gonna use the, the one that I uh, stamped off, so we're gonna cover up the other guy. I love that paper has two sides, so you get a second chance at things, unless you're using the blends or something that bleeds through, but your regular inks do not bleed through. So, there we have it. There's our card. So you can uh, leave a comment and let me know which one you liked better. Or do you like the Fresh Freesia or do you like the Boho Blue? So those are our two, two choices here. And it was relatively quick and simple. Simple yet sophisticated are the, the kind of the category that I like to put these in. So I'm so glad you came and stopped by the treehouse and I hope you enjoyed the project. I hope you'll make one of your own. And don't forget to check out the blog for dimensions and the, the products and things. And thanks for subscribing. If you haven't already, go ahead and click the subscribe button and also uh, the notification bell so that you can know when a new video comes out. I'm, my goal is one video a week and I'm getting closer to that goal. So um, I'm excited. So anyway, um, and if you happen to live uh, closer, you can come and do a lot of these in person in the treehouse and we also have online classes and all those things you can find um, in my blog there's a newsletter and it will tell you all the happenings for the creative treehouse and how you can get involved as well all right thanks again for stopping by and i'll see you next time bye bye